for another episode. I am actually in the car right now, as you guys can see, with this moppy hair. <laughs> um, I'm finally going to get a haircut. It's about time. I told you guys this. Uh, I really needed to get a haircut like a couple days ago. I've just been like, I don't know. Things have been happening, so I'm finally getting out to go and do it. Um, and as you guys know, my parents are coming tomorrow, so I gotta kind of get ready for that. Clean up my room, because, you know, my mom will be plotting. She'll be coming in and be like, yo, this room's a mess. No, I'm just kidding, but got to make the house look nice. There's kind of a lot going on today. All right, so this is the last of my hair before it gets cut. A lot of you guys are going to be angry because a lot of you guys like my hair longer, but I can't stand it being long. I like that fresh cut, and it, look, it looks so good when it's freshly cut. Um, but let's hope there's not a long line because usually every time I come here, I wait here like a long time. Or like they just cut my hair for a while and because I have to get back because this is Matt's car, as you guys know, and... He has to go to uh, the Apple store after this and do something, so I gotta be back like soon. Let's hope there's not a long wait. All right, I'm back home now, so this is the haircut. It looks pretty good, I think the guy did a good job. The thing is, is uh, the guy who cut my hair is somebody who doesn't cut it usually because the guy who always cuts my hair, he had a client, and then he had an appointment after that, and I was like, I'm kinda in a rush, so like I just need someone to cut my hair. So I had a different guy than usual cut my hair, but he did a good job, uh, I think he did. I think it looks really good. It looks like exactly how it always does. I mean, because you just tell them what you want and they, they usually know what they're doing, so. Or I'd hope they would know what they're doing. But it's always scary having a new person do it because you're like, oh god, I hope they don't fuck up my haircut. Because I think how haircuts work, haircut, they'll kind of align it to like your previous haircut, if that makes any sense. So like when I go get a haircut in a few weeks, they'll kind of see what the last person did. And if the last person messed it up, then obviously they're going to see what they did and probably do the same thing and then it's not going to look good. So, it's good that he did a good job. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit of a story that happened to me yesterday. This is like a little story time on the vlog for you guys. Um, and I just thought I would share it with you because I'm really honest with all of you guys. If you watch me and support me, you know that I'm completely honest with the people who watch me. So I'm just going to be honest with you guys. So after I got off my broadcast yesterday, somebody's messaging me on Snapchat. We're talking like this and that. And she's like, yo, I live in Hollywood. Let's hang out. And I'm like, all right, I'm down. And she met, she said this in my broadcast too. Like it's, first off, let's just say this. It's really hard for me to actually like open a Snapchat from somebody who is saying the same thing in my chat and you now because there's like so many different people on both, you know? So I was going through it, just opening my Snapchats and I opened this snap and she's like, I live in Hollywood. She sent me some pictures and I was like, oh dang, like she's attractive. Like let's hang out and let's go see like a movie because I wanted to, you guys know I wanted to see Split yesterday and that's what I did in the vlog. So... I was like, all right, let's hang out. I give her my number. Keep in mind, I don't give supporters my number ever, but I didn't think there was like a problem, right? Like it was like, okay, like what's wrong with that? There's no, there's no issues. So I give her my number. Should have, should have totally double tip took it. I didn't though, which was stupid. And I'm texting her like this and that. She's like, all right, um, I'm going to come over in like 45 minutes. The movie's at 10. She was going to come over at like nine, nine thirty, And then we were going to leave to go to the movie and see split. But let's go back really quick for one second to back to the whole Snapchat thing. So before I gave her my number, I said, first, how old are you? Because if you guys don't know, I'm not going to give my number out to like 15, 16, 17 year olds because I'm 21 years old. That's illegal for one. For two, it's just weird. So she says, I'm 18. So I'm like, all right, you're legal. There's nothing wrong here. We're not do I'm not saying like, let's do stuff. Like I'm just simply saying, let's go see a movie. And I give her my number. Now back to the whole story. So after a while, I start to get skeptical. A little skeptical of this girl because I start to like I'm like first off I say what's her Instagram she gives me her Instagram I look at her pictures and I don't know about you but I am not no stupid guy I'm actually a very smart kid as a guy a lot of dudes are stupid and can get catfish very easily you guys can probably see where this story is going basically I got catfished so the girl was real she wasn't fake but she was a complete liar I start looking at her pictures and I'm like Wait a second, this girl does not look 18 to me. And then this is what you do. This is how you catch a catfish 101. If you're gonna try and catfish somebody, you go to their tagged pictures. I go to her tagged pictures. There's a picture she's tagged in with her parents and it says happy 15th birthday. So right there, I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. There's no hiding here. I text her, I'm like, yo, all right, you don't even live in Hollywood. Like, send me a Snapchat with a geofilter Hollywood just to prove that you actually live there. And then she started getting super weird. She was like, 
why do you want me to do that? Like, this and that. Like, that's stupid. And, you know, she's obviously trying to cover up for herself, this and that. And so then I'm just like, dude, you're fake. Like, stop trying to lie to me. I've caught you in a lie. Like, just stop. And she's trying to play it off and everything. And then I was like, you're not even 18 years old. You're, you're 15. I just saw your parents post that they tagged you in like a month ago. And then she's like, no, what are you talking about? I don't even know those people. So I just want to share that with you guys. I just thought it was completely crazy. You have to be really careful with who you message online. I don't have to tell you guys this. Then again, this proves you guys are always asking me, how do you not have a girlfriend? Why do you not have a girlfriend? This is probably the reason why is because I don't really take the time to go out to message people because of stupid things like this happening. The one time I give a supporter my phone number, it's somebody who's a compulsive liar and it's not even their age. She doesn't even live here. She lives all the way in like freaking Minnesota. Um, I mean, I, w I actually FaceTimed her too. And that's what's crazy to me. She completely lied to me on FaceTime. Like, we were on FaceTime together, and I was like, oh, you live in Hollywood. Like, and she's like, yeah, I'm 18. I just moved here from uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I was like, okay. Like, first, I was thinking in my head, like, that's a little sketchy. Why would you move from Minnesota all the way to L.A.? Because L.A. is expensive and stuff. And she's like, oh, me and my friends just wanted to travel, kind of. But then we decided to go to L.A. Like, I give her this. She was a very, very good liar, and that I will give her. Very good liar. She completely lied to my face in FaceTime. I never would have told, been able to tell. Like, I'm telling you guys, I'm smart. I can tell when people are lying to me, usually, and I can also tell when people are, like, not who they really are. So I figured it out pretty quick, which was good, because I don't know where this girl was going to end up going with this whole story. Like, I don't know what she was going to end up saying, because she was telling me, like, oh, yeah, I'll be there in, like, 45 minutes. So I don't know what she was going to end up saying. But I just want to share with you guys, I thought it was interesting, and it just goes to show this is why I don't ever like message people my phone number or give people my number or even try to attempt to talk to people on like my social medias. This is the perfect example why. One person ruins it for all. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that big of a deal. I don't really care that much, but I just thought it was a very interesting story to share with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed that little snippet. <sighs> Bad. This is gonna be our last night sleeping together for a couple of days. Ugh, I'm gonna miss it. What? This is gonna be me sleeping in my bed for the last time. Potentially. Oh, I was like, I'm right here. What do you mean? Because <laughs> my mom and dad are gonna be sleeping in it. Uh, possibly. Are you sleeping in my bed? I mean, I could. Yeah! <laughs> That's good clickbait. Oh my god! You could sleep in my bed. I've wanted you to. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys remember me saying this earlier. My mom and dad are coming when you, well, actually, the day you guys see this, which will be tomorrow for me and you, it's kind of confusing, but the day you guys see this, my mom and dad will be here that day, getting here that day, late night, and I'm probably going to have to forfeit my bed, because I don't want to be rude and make, like, one of my mom or dad just sleep on an air mattress. It's just like, I don't know, it's not right, so I'm, I'm probably just going to let them sleep in my bed, and it's only a couple days, so it's not that bad. Um, I just realized how Reese's out my whole entire room is. So somebody sent me the Reese's cup. And then earlier I had a bowl of Reese's cereal. And then over here I have all the Reese's. <laughs> this Reese obsession is getting ridiculous. But uh, I'm going to like clean up this room because, you know, I can't have my mom coming in here seeing this. She'll be, she'll be like, Dan, this is how your room was back in Chicago. Got to make sure it looks good for when the mom comes. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that little story that I told you guys earlier. And I think I'm going to end this right here. Trying to, like, you know, fix that sleeping schedule. Even though it's late again. It's I'll be honest. It's late again. Um, kind of just a chill day, though. We're just hanging out. Got a lot of fun things coming with my parents coming, though. I hope you guys had a good day today. Like always, I love you guys. Be you. Be awesome. Be grateful. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. For 75 cents more, do you want a large icy? So I said, sure, because it's not that much more. This is the freaking large. This is as big as my dick. This is, I've never seen an icy that big. I think it might be bigger than 7 Eleven. That's saying something. It's bigger than my head, like literally. like. That's enough for like three, four people, I feel like. That's so crazy. I mean, we can share it if you want.